Hello everybody, my name is Max Sedum, and today we are going to be playing Terraria. This is the third episode of my Terraria series. So yeah, in this episode we are going to go and mine so that we can prepare to face the bosses and get their loot. Yeah, that's the objective of this episode. We should also upgrade our house so that more NPCs may spawn like the merchant as he sells useful stuff like ropes. So um, yeah, we should build one as soon as possible. The NPCs only come if it's day and we should also get more gold as we have we only have 11 silver coins so yeah let's quickly just cut some wood and turn it into a house we're basically going to hire uh, uh, we're going to add an additional floor so that's going to be great and a zombie there. okay weak thing and zombies give us 50 copper coins which is basically half of a silver one so yeah that's relatively good but that things which cost platinum coins and platinum coins are a hundred gold coins basically and one gold coin is a hundred silver coins so yeah that's going that's not going to be easy to get okay uh, let's make this here so we can get up and this is registered as a door actually No, 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 don't kill my bunny, please. That's my bunny. Successfully defended the bunny. Bunny, you may come in. Come in, bunny. There we go. You're safe now. Okay. Let's... Oh, there's a floating eyeball. Maybe I should kill it. Lil. Okay, I missed a bit, but that's okay. It would seem that eyeballs don't have as much defense as the zombies do, as I do much more damage to them. Okay, I got my first lens, and you know what lenses are for. I already told you in the previous episode. We need to... Oh crap, I killed the bunny. I would avenge it, but I don't want to kill myself, sorry. Poor bunny. I really did not mean to kill him. He was a good bunny, that bunny. He shall always be remembered as Beat the Bunny. And oh my god, an eyeball, I must kill it. Died. Oh crap, it damaged me a bit. Let's ouch. Just get over here. And I'm going to massacre you and hopefully get lens from you, from your corpse. And yeah, I got some lens. And why the hell is the guide outside? Oh crap. Die zombies. There we go, the zombies are, have been repelled. Come in, you stupid guide. Bloody Marty. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the house. I almost forgot. Oh, and I made a sawmill. And sawmills... We can make these bars and these banquet ta tables and they really look good. Sword racks, spear racks and you know, like an armory of sorts. I'm going to 
make something like that. We can also make beer. And beer basically increases your melee attacks, but decreases your defense. And I don't really use it ever. But for the sake of YouTube, I'm gonna go and take a swig. But later on. Okay, let's just build some walls. And hopefully our first NPC. Actually, we might have some bombs. No, we do not. Oh well. See, bombs... When you have bombs, a demolitionist might, a demolitionist might appear. And a... They um they sell all sorts of things. They sell the explosives in the game. Which are going to be useful later on in the game. When we want to fight a boss in the corruption. Okay, uh, I don't really have enough wood to finish it. I'm not sure if this is going to be registered as a table and a chair. This never really did this this way, but hopefully it will. And the only thing missing now is more wood. And hopefully these trees I planted will grow soon. Okay, and more wood. And yeah. So... I am, after this episode, going to do some things off camera and I'm just going to mine and add an, uh, some additional flaws to the thing, the tower of power, aka the hotel, and then in the, you're going to see it in the fourth episode. I'm going to show it to you, I'm probably going to extend my, my, um, oh, there's a snow biome here. Uh, I'm going to extend my elevator and, and then I'm probably going to play until I get my first grappling hook. And also we got our first NPC. Unfortunately, this is the one that I never use. He's a die trader, but oh well. For YouTube purposes, he'll do. I never really use the die trader, ever, really. Hmm. So, let's just... So I guess he registers this. Yeah, it's okay. He's okay with some walls missing in the background, and it seems terribly off to me. So I'm just gonna go and fix it. And the wood walls are here. Forty is enough, definitely. Okay, and now let's. Go mine a bit. Yeah, if I had 50 coins, I would definitely get some loot. I mean, the merchant, the merchant, and I would continue building this elevator. Yeah. Basically, uh, it's not going to be really exciting until we really fight the first boss. And I'm going to do all the boring things off camera until I get the grappling hook at least. And then I'm going to continue. The fourth episode is going to probably probably be something like a grinding episode of some sort. And the mining episode. I thought this was going to be the mining episode, but oh well. And then after that, we are going to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. The first boss in the game, sort of. He's the second easiest boss in the game as well. 
he might be even the third easiest, I'm not so sure. Let's just explore this cave to see what kind of treasures there are. And I, I, I can't get back now. So let's just go back to the surface. And the ice biome is really nice, it has some unique items. And we didn't even find a single chest, and that's that amazes me. In a bad way, of course. Chests contain loots. Very useful loot. And there's nothing in this cabin. Crap. Okay, let's get out of here. It's not helping us in, in any way. Okay, so that wasn't useful. I thought we could maybe find at least a chest or something, but we didn't even find a pot. Actually, we did find some pots. Yeah, we did. And I think that it's going to be 20 minutes soon. I thought that my videos were limited to 15 minutes, but you know, I got past that. I had to verify my account and I thought it was going to be something complicated but it wasn't really okay so yeah so basically these first three episodes Probably kind of boring to you, I guess. Oh, and we have our first potion, I didn't even realize. The Night Owl Potion. The Night Owl Potion increases our visibility. I never use it ever. I mean, I just consume it whenever I see it. So let's just show you the effects. You see how we think, how we see things, uh, the lighting. Well, look now. It's a little bit brighter. It's useful w when you're spelunking. And yeah. So, next episode, we're going to have a bigger house, which I'm going to build off camera. The I'm going to have a grappling hook. And this elevator is bigger, deeper. And yeah, tune in next episode to see us mine and grind. I'm probably going to find some materials off camera and then I'm going to turn it into armor and maybe I'll even build an arena in the next episode. So yeah, my name is Maxadoom and thanks for watching and see ya.